what's up? Uh, this is going to be another tutorial on how to remove black bars. This time it's going to be actually a trick that you can do with YouTube. But you can also use it to um, remove black bars if you don't have the adequate software. So for example, if you have something like Windows Movie Maker, which uh, you can see here. Um, you might not have extensive functions such as the ones available in Sony Vegas or Final Cut or something like that. So you can't really remove black bars in Movie Maker as far as I know. But there is a trick that you can do and I'm going to show it to you guys right now. So for example, if I put widescreen, black bars are going to come up on the sides. And YouTube is widescreen by default. So if you put widescreen but your footage isn't widescreen, you can get these black bars. So what you want to do is actually to render your video as standard. Just go standard. So let's render it. Save for computer test video. All right. Let it render. All right. Now we're gonna go to YouTube. Wait, let me just play this first. All right. So it's square, not widescreen. So if I upload it like this gonna have black bars all right so let's upload it to YouTube and unlist this processing it's taking ages to process <laughs> okay we're done so let's take a look watch So as you can see, black bars on the sides here, which you want to get rid of. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to edit the uh, the tags. So go to edit info on your video, and under tags, you type in yt colon stretch equals 16 colon 9. And then save it. Now go to view on video page, and... You're gonna see magic now, because BAM! The black bars are totally gone. Of course, uh, your video is stretched, but the black bars are gone. Uh, like in the Vegas tutorial, there are only two ways to remove black bars if your video is not the proper aspect ratio. One is by stretching, which is this method, and the other is to actually zoom in and maintain the same aspect, but cut off sides of the frame, so you essentially only see a portion of your entire frame. So with this method your image is kind of stretched but the black bars are gone and for most type of uh, videos it really shouldn't be a problem. If you don't like your video getting stretched like this then the only thing I can suggest is find out how you can uh, record footage at 16 by 9 aspect ratio which is widescreen. If you can't record widescreen and you don't want black bars on the sides of your videos this is the best way to do it. If you don't have like a, a higher level editing program like Sony Vegas. One thing with using this method is that if you actually render in widescreen, YouTube will think that this black part of your videos is actually something as, uh, as actually part of your video. So this won't work if you have a widescreen video with black bars and then you try to use the uh, stretch, th stretch tag. This only works if your video is 4x3, which is what my video is. So anyway guys, hope this helps you guys out with your black bars problem. And I'll see you guys next time.